This is the front. The bulk of the Light's army musters there, ready for the big push. I've run through the war games countless times. When Sandrak had the Binding Stone, our chances were slim to none. All these soldiers, when you look at them, Jack, what do you see? <laughs> I, I know you want me to say I see loyalty or, or duty or something like that. All right, that way I can step into some irony or whatever you can use to... Look, I know you're using this as some kind of preamble to tell me you're angry with me. I am goddamn furious. I'm sorry. I got to the Shrine Forge and... And there was a choice I could make. No, there wasn't. There wasn't a choice. Who told you there was a choice? Zendara, you were as field commander. Did you get to the Shrine Forge and say, make it up as you go along? No, sir. Our objective was to figure out a way to destroy the Binding Stone. Then why is it in my war chamber, Commander? I gave no indication that we were to deviate from that objective, sir. So you're telling me that you're unable to control your people? Is that it? Don't yell at her. I did it. Chain of command, Jack. And I'm getting to you. Okay, okay. If I can just say one thing, that right there is unnecessary with that right there. I got us control of the ultimate weapon, and we can roll right now into Rasharn by ourselves and force their surrender without firing a shot. Oh, you've got it all worked out. I didn't realize that. Am I the only one in the room that sees the last 24 hours as an unbelievable victory? I mean, what part of Ultimate Weapon don't you like? The part where it's a corrupted Aristean artifact, Jack. When we all know Aristean is really just another word for weapons from yesteryear that we are absolutely unprepared for. Maybe you're unprepared. And you aren't? When I found you, the only thing you were prepared for was exploding and taking the rest of Saren with you. The last time I talked with Sandrak, he pulled the same you-wouldn't-exist-without-me lecture you are. So you're a little late to the party, sir. You will go back to the Shrine Forge and get the mark you were ordered to in the first place. Can't do it. And then you will come back here and destroy this thing. Oh, no, I'm, I'm being for real. I, I can't. The machine, it... Well, it, it broke. Don't fuck with me, Jack. Are you serious right now? I'm not. And I am. All right, and I can control it. Why can't you see that? You can't control it. No one can. What if Sandrak really isn't gone, and he gets it back? What then? It stays here, under lock and key. Take it to the vault. You're making a mistake. Take it to the goddamn vault!
Come see me at the scrying hub. Can it wait? I need some time to cool off. Kirkin tore me a new one. No, it can't wait, Jack. Come see me right now. Okay, what's the big deal? You two, give us the room. Move! Room, seal and set scrying wards. Remember when Sandrak breached the Palathon that one time? What fun! And afterwards, it was up to me to strengthen our security enchantments against Roshanian magic. Yeah? Well, they worked. Who the hell is Luna, Jack? Just stop, Luna. Roshan doesn't have its own colors. How can you even ask me that? What is it? Some kind of spectral projection? The real question is, who are you communicating with? Wait, uh, are you spying on me? Are you spying on us? Is this Luna a Roshanian agent? No! Y yes, she, she, she grew up with me in Saren. She took care of us. Turns out... God, look, it's so messed up, Dev. Luna's... The friend you say is dead, which is very sad, but also very not true, because it turns out she's a Roshanian agent. Worse. She's the hand of Sandrak. Oh, do me a favor! I know, I know. I swear I was going to tell you. You already kind of knew. You noticed me looking at her in one of our briefings. She can hear our mission briefings? No, no. At least she says she can. And I believe her, because when we... Mind link or whatever. I can't see or hear anything around her either. It's not. It's a. It's a corrupted spell, Devin. Not some kind of covert intelligence device thing. I, I promise. Daddyus cast a Rasharnian spell. That's what you detected. So we could walk around in each other's heads, and she got in somehow. I. I didn't say anything because I wasn't sure what to do. I thought maybe I could convince her of something I hadn't come up with yet. All right, it, it's messy. But I was never going to let her hurt us. You said she killed Thaddeus. Well, I was never going to let her hurt us after that. Devin, come on. She didn't interfere in the deep mirror. She hasn't come after us since this whole mind fuckery stuff happened. And now that Sandrak's dead, we can- Stop it. Just stop. I think you should leave. Okay. I'll, uh, be in my room. The Palathon. You should leave the Palathon. This is bad, Jack. You're serious. Whatever I decide to tell Kirken, I'll... I'll let you know beforehand. I don't know how to do this. We need to talk. Can you, uh, show up? Hey, kid. Fancy that. I was just about to reach out. 
Bet you some wires got crossed. Thaddeus? Don't get spooked now. I ain't a ghost. Turns out... Something went wrong with your mind walk spell? Hey now, that spell would've worked just fine if it weren't so rudely imposed upon. Now I keep getting visions of you and that girl and then... Same here. Well, not with you. This is the first time with you. Well, I guess you just know everything about everything. I didn't know you were alive. I've been telling everybody you were killed. Sorry to disappoint. Sits me better that way, to be honest. I've been getting a little long in the shadow lately, and too many folks are starting to know where I'm getting to it. The hell? Sorry. Rook's on my ass about telling you to get over here. We need to talk about Sandrak. Man alive, would you shut up?
Look who finally decided to show. Hey, kid. Sit a spell. Gentlemen, it's good to see you alive, Thaddeus. Uh, how did you... How's her for later? We gotta talk. God damn. You've been to the Shrouded Realm again? Yeah. Every time I'm near a font when it gets absorbed, I just shift over there. Then I see the Pentasod and pow, I'm back. Huh. The Pentasod must like you. It don't normally do that, as a general rule, crossing over as a one-way street. This absorbed font you're talking about, it happened to be where you think you saw Sandrak die? Rhetorical question, kid. It was. That's how Sandrak got himself into the Shrouded Realm. <coughs> uh, do what now? There was likely a tiny hole left there where the font was. A sliver, lingering a bit between worlds. Probably crawled his mangy ass through it in the nick of time, lucky son of a bitch. Back up. What makes you think Sandrak went to the Shrouded Realm? Because he crawled back out recently. He's close by, too. I can smell him. There's a snuffed-out fawn over here in Kelpus. That's where he probably is. Take this. It'll bring you right to him. I figure he'll be weak, convalescing and whatnot. He ain't moved, from what we can gather. Pulling himself back, probably about tore him to shreds. Why not use the font that would have taken him to Rasharn? Rasharn's a dangerous place for a tyrant shown weakness. Sandrak has enemies at court. He's smart to avoid him if he can. All right, then. Round three. Sandrak will have summoned his personal guard to watch over him. You won't be able to avoid him. You know what that means, right? The girl. She'll be there alongside all your unfinished business. Thanks, guys. I'd ask you to help, but you would have offered by now. Yeah, I'm still on the mend after getting gut shot by your aforementioned friend. And my kind live in a cave for a reason, kid. Out there, we tend to get killed by folks less enlightened than yourself. But good luck, and make it hurt. Before you leave, kid, hit up that spell altar. Got something you'll need. How you been, kid? Last I saw you, you were searching for the Shrine Forge. Suspect you found it. You tackled Sandrak head on? Yeah, we found it. With Kenzie's help, by the way. Then I kind of broke it, but... Mm-hmm. Feels like your thing. Walking into a place the first time and tripping over shit like a toddler. Had to fire up a few constructs to help get my polar back in shape after your visit. I told you I was sorry. Anyway, I found out how Sandrak was able to control the Binding Stone. There was a machine that you could get a mark from. Oh, and... By machine, I mean an ancient, giant, Aristean ghost guy thing. How about you two play catch-up after Sandrax in the ground? And how about you mind your own business? Ignore him. We got time to talk. Maybe you can tell me how you aren't dead. No real mystery. I'll make sure to carry a healing crystal on me at all times. Habit from a lifetime of soldiering. It's nice to feel missed, though. So here's something pretty embarrassing and terrible. The Immortals gave me the boot. Something tells me that ain't by choice. Catch you fraternizing with the enemy stuck in your head? That's not what it is! I, I mean, yes, it totally looks like it, but like... But it's messy. That's what I said! Look, I got the very dubious benefit of having you two bouncing around in my head, sharing all your conflict and history and whatnot, but your pals at the Palathon don't got that context. So what do I do? To avoid high treason? Fuck if I know. I just said it was messy, not fixable. I suspect killing Sandrak's a good first step, though. You were Grand Magnus of the Immortals when Sandrak was part of the Order. Weren't you? Guilty. Surprised you know about that. Figured Lavenry would have had Kirkin scrub his name from the record. She gave me a report of the whole thing. Incomplete, but yeah. Huh. You must be real special to her. That's, uh, that's nice to hear. Kirkin needs good people to surround herself with, or she can get a bit, uh... What? Nothing. 
Shouldn't talk out of turn. Anywho, yes, it was me who found Sandrak and sponsored him for selection. Didn't give a rat's ass he was Ray Sharnian. I'm old enough to remember when our two kingdoms were allies. What was he like? Smart. Had grit. Unorthodox with his magic in the way all you Triarchs are. He and Kirkin? Whew. You ain't never seen a pair so fierce. No one could stand against them, except their own egos. And ultimately, he was my mistake. Does Kenzie know you're alive? She deserves to hear it from you. Nope, I haven't. I suspect I won't. Don't be an asshole. You mean a lot to her, Thaddeus. <sighs> Pouring it on thick, kid. And if I recall correctly, it was you told everyone I was dead, not me. I got a split. You do that. What's the deal with this spell? It's a ward breaker. Something tells me you'll need it to get close to Sandrak. Guess I'll give this spell a try. Till next time, fellas. Devin, please. This is going to sound crazy. You have to listen to me. I just spoke with Thaddeus. They're right about the crazy. Listen, Sandrak's alive. Hurt, but alive. You need to lock the vault down tight. Put the whole Palathon on alert. I'm... on my way. I can't let you face him alone. No, if I fail here, Sandrak will come for the Binding Stone. You have to be there to stop him. Try to stop me.
find Sandrak. 